Good morning. Teacher as a school culture catalyst. Every teacher must bear in mind that every child is a work in progress. There is no room for stagnation because every day is learning experience. And learners must realize the reality of life. Face challenges with bravery. Here are some of the roles of teachers proving their versatility and flexibility for student development. First, teacher as classroom supporter. In order to enhance the abilities of students, teacher must become a classroom supporter. Introduce new things, new techniques, and strategies to make hard things easier to understand. Second, teacher as a mentor. You must believe that they can do all things, that they must trust themselves and abilities for them to improve, motivate them to pursue their dreams. Third, teacher as a learning facilitator. As a teacher, make sure that learning is enjoyable. Focus on the strength and weaknesses of your student for you to know what are the needs to improve and develop for their learnings. Changing school culture. How do we change school culture? Changing the school culture involves managing various aspects of everyday school life. This includes school values, the implementation of the curriculum, recognizing staff, the organization of the instruction, and reconfiguring the school facilities. Let me explain to you the four essentials of changing school culture. First is the define what you will not change. It is necessary to know the differences of every learners so that we can specify which values or traditions he or she belongs. Number two, recognizing the importance of school. The greatest implementation to meaningful cultural changes is the gap between the leaders, the value, and what they actually do. Leaders speak most clearly with their action. Number three, use the right change tools for your schools or districts. Leaders must use the appropriate change tools on the basics of a combination of factors, including the extent to which staff members agree on what they want and how to get there. Number four, be willing to do the scat work. If you believe that every job has value and there is such things as unimportant work in schools, then demonstrate that belief through your actions. Meaningful school improvement begins with cultural change and cultural change begins with the school leader. Organizational climate of school. Organizational climate describes a unit of organization rather than evaluate it or indicates emotional reaction to it. It is also first a characteristic of a school in terms of relationship among the student and the staff or the teachers. Learning and teaching emphasizes, including our values and our norms. The openness of organizational climate. It is ranging in open to close school climate. So first is an open school climate. It is a characterized by teacher relations that are professional, collegial, friendly, and committed to education of students. In this, the teacher and principal's behavior is supportive, genuine, and engaged. In short, it is the cooperation between the principal and the faculty. While a close school climate is a characterized by teacher relations that are disengaged, distanced, suspicious, and not professional. It is the characterized also by lack of authenticity, um, game playing, and disengaged behavior. There were a number of limitations to early version of OCDQ. When it talks about OCDQ, it is a organizational climate description questionnaire. For example, of a close school climate, it only measures the climate of elementary school and the validity of some of its subtests was questioned. The dimension of OCDQ for elementary school and there are three teacher behavior, the collegial, intimate, and the disengaged. First is the collegial behavior. It is the support 
open and professional interaction among teachers. In this, teachers respect the professional competence of their colleges. The teachers also accomplish their work with vim, vigor, and pleasure. And the second one is the intimate behavior. It is reflect a cohesive and strong network of social support among the faculty. Teachers know each other well, are close personal friends, and socialize. In short, the teachers socialize with each other. Or the last is the disengaged behavior. It is refers to a lack of meaning and focus in professional activities. Teachers are simply putting in time and going through the motion. In this, the faculty meetings are useless. Or teachers rumble when he talks at faculty meeting. Unhealthy school climate is vulnerable to disrupted outside forces. The principal has little influence with superiors, resources are scarce, and the principal neither set direction nor supports teachers. Morale is poor and there is limited attention to academic matters because teachers have given up. We all know that unhealthy school climate can affect children's health, attendance, concentration, and performance. OHI dimension and sample items. Institutional level. Institutional integrity is discovery a school that is not vulnerable to narrow and vested interest from the community. The e school is able to cope with outside destructive forces. Sample items. The e school is protected from unreasonable community and parental demands. The e school is vulnerable to outside pleasure. Managerial level. Principal influence is refers to the principal ability to affect the action of superiors. The influential principal works successful with the superintendent for the benefit of teachers. Sample items. The principal gets what he or she asks for superiors. Why? Why the principal gets all he or she wants to ask from the superior? Because the principal has have an ability to affect the action of superior. Consideration is behavior by the principal that is friendly, supportive, open, and collegial. Sample items. The principal looks out from the personal welfare of faculty members. The principal is friendly and approachable. Because we say that consideration is behavior from the principal, but this is a positive behavior like friendly, supportive, open, and collegial, and etc. Not a negative behavior of principal. Initiating structure is behavior by the principal that is task and achievement oriented. The principal makes his expectation clear and maintains his standards of performance. Sample items. The principal lets faculty members know what is expected of them. Because the principal makes his expectation clear and maintains his standards of performance. Another example is the principal maintains definite standards of performance. The source of art is your first provision at the school where adequate classroom supplies and instructional materials are available and extra materials are easily obtained. Sample items. Extra materials are available if requested. The word dress or support is we all know this is the material are available when we need and we requested if this is available. Another sample item is teachers are provided with adequate materials for their classroom. School level. Moral is refers to a sense of trust, confidence, enthusiasm, and friendliness among teachers. Teachers feel good about each other and at the same time feel a sense of accomplishment from their jobs. Sample items. Teachers in this school like each other. The moral of teacher is I. All teachers, they feel that the other teacher is the like of them, or at the same time, they have a same feel of a sense of accomplishment from their job. Academic emphasis is refers to the school first of achievement. High but achievable academic goals are set for students. The learning environment is orderly and serious. Teachers believe in the ability of their students to achieve, and students work hard and respect academic achievement. Sample items. The school set high standards for academic performance. Another sample items is students respect others who get good grades. Because the teachers believe the ability of their student to achieve what he or his goals and the students work hard and respect academic achievement. Teacher level. Professional teacher behavior is marked by respect for college competence, commitment to students, autonomous judgments, and mutual cooperation and support. Sample items. Teachers respect the professional competence of their college. Teachers in this school exercise professional judgments because being a professional teacher means being knowledgeable about one's materials, creating a supportive and respectful classroom environment, building authentic relationship with and advocating for students, being organized and planning ahead, and remaining open to new ideas. Student level. Achievement press 
Prep is called a set time but achievable academic standards and goals. The student persists, strive to achieve, and are respected by each other and teachers for their academic success. Parents, teachers, and the principal all press students for high standards and school improvement. Sample item. The school set high standards for academic achievement. Another sample item is academic achievement is recognized and acknowledged by the school. Because academic achievement first is the emphasis is placed on the achievable academic standards and goals. Letter E. School climbing. School climate refers to the quality and characteristic of the school life and it has been described as the soul and heart of the school. The essence of the school is to lead the students, the teacher, and an administrator to love the school and look forward being there each day. School climate also refers to the school's effect on the students, including the teaching practices. Experiences of every individual, building relationships, collective beliefs, and attitudes that present in the school. It also encourages the students to build the good communication, respect, trust, and disciplinary throughout the school community. A safety and orderly environment is another key aspect of a good school climate, and teachers will help the student to make it happen. One of the examples of school climate is a rules and regulation. It is a way on how they see the students meet those expectations by following the rules and regulation. There are five ways you can use to change and improve your school climate. The first one is use school data to set a goal. Effective leadership practices are driven by data that informs policies and practices within the school. The more the leadership team knows about the student needs and current performance, the better they can create structures and implement plans that build the desired school climate. Second, engage teachers and administrators. The relationship between teachers and administrator is important for communicating within the school. It is evident that having involved leadership influence how others in the school building are able to connect and relate to the culture change being implemented. Third, advocate for parental involvement. Means parental involvement speaks volume about the relationship between the school and the community. It is an inclusive way to show students how much they are valued. Fourth, involve students. Students are very important stakeholders in the school community. They may have ideas about community norms, incentive for positive behaviors, and expectations about their learning and ways to advance their learning experiences. And the last, clear expectations. Leadership should identify clear expectations about the school environment. Means, being able to articulate policies and procedures to ensure high-quality learning is important in developing a positive culture. Expectations should be clear for students and staff. The teacher as an organizational leader. The teachers are always called as a leader. They inspire and help the person to learn. A teacher can be an organizational leader because he or she can put in knowledge to his or her students and work together as a group. Leadership is the action of leading people in an organization towards achieving their goals. Leaders do this by influencing employees' behaviors in several ways. Leaders set a clear vision for the organization and it motivates employees through the work process and builds morale. Setting clear vision means influencing employees to understand and accept the future state of organization. Resource provider. Teachers help their colleges by sharing instructional resources. This might include web, instructional materials, readings, or other resources to use with the students. They might also share professional resources such as articles, books, lesson, or unit plans. Classroom supporter. Classroom supporters work inside classroom to help teachers implement new ideas, often by demonstrating a lesson, co-teaching, or observing and giving feedback. Mentor. Serving as a mentor for a novice teacher is common role for a teacher leader. Mentors serve as a role models, acclimate new teachers to a new school, 
and advise new teachers about instructions, curriculum, procedure, practices, and politics. Being a mentor takes a great deal of time and expertise and make a significant contribution to the development of a new professional. A teacher leaders always have a helping hand. Learners Among the most important roles of teacher leaders assumed is that of a learner. Learner models continual improvement, demonstrate lifelong learning, and use what they learn to help all students achieve. They say that a good leader will influence the soldiers to perform their duties by experiencing the vision and the importance of their role in the outcome.